I this is a tiny induction furnace I made. There's the coil, three layers, and uh, <coughs> one NPN transistor TIP41 555 timer for oscillation. The base of this, this is a 5 volt regulator. The whole thing is running on 12 volts. This is a 220 nanofarad 400 volt capacitor for resonance. Now I'm gonna put a fiberglass insulator. Here it is inside the coil so it doesn't burn from the hot metal. I'm gonna put this in. Okay, the fiber glass. Now it, the coils are protected from the heat. I'm gonna okay, and here is my switch to the base. The timer keeps oscillating, I just disconnect or connect it to the NPN transistor here. This is a very tiny induction furnace, I'm gonna test it on this. First I'm gonna use the thinner one, it works on iron. Now I... Okay. Now I'm gonna see what happens. Instantly gets heated up. I'm gonna test it with this piece of plastic. Now with this, with this thicker metal, I don't know this. It's going to take a bit longer because it's bigger. This side is completely black, I'm gonna use the other side that is shiny still. It's gonna glow red hot. I have added paper as more insulation. Oh, yeah. It prevents it from getting cold. Now, this is starting again. This one gonna glow right for sure. And we're gonna see the smoke from paper. You see.
Amen. It's already red. Let's go for the second round. I had the iron and paper. Oh, yes. Now it's it's on. Hmm. Tiniest induction heater in the world. 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 Red iron or not? Oh yes, red. Red hot iron from the tiniest induction heater. Here's the oscillator. That's the regulator because the base of the transistor can take more than five volts. Using a MOSFET would be better, but I just wanted it to be simpler. If I use a MOSFET, I don't need the voltage regulator, regulator because the MOSFET can work on the 12 volt signal at its gate very well. The MOSFET gonna be more powerful for this. Okay. Now I'm gonna use another resistor Now we are gonna take a look at the signal on the scope. Now we're gonna connect the power. The transistor is connected already. Uh, this is right. Now when I enter this, the resonance gets absorbed. Yeah, this is it. The green is the transistor active and the yellow is the coil and the capacitor resonating. The voltage is 12 volts. The signal is 5 volt at the base of the transistor. Okay. 